Hi everybody, Dugras here with Dugras Reports. Sometimes in the credit card hacking game, we think of big wins, like staying in a luxurious resort on Bora Bora or something like that, or maybe getting a first class ticket on a major airline and getting lots of cents per point. But I find that sometimes it's pretty satisfying and important to talk about practical redemptions that are small wins, maybe effective wins, but something that you can celebrate with a relatively low amount of effort. And I had one of those wins recently, which I'll tell you about in this video, and then I'll talk specifically about how I redeemed points a little later in the video. But first, what I did, so I took a three-day weekend recently, sort of a long weekend trip all by myself, a solo trip, First, I went to the town of Clinton, Iowa, and took in a minor league baseball game. The Clinton Lumber Kings were playing. It's the kind of thing we could get in really cheaply and sit right down front for about $9, and I enjoyed that. And while there, I stayed at a Hilton. It was actually a Hampton Inn by Hilton uh, for a single night, and I got pretty good value there. And then I continued on to the town of Normal, Illinois which is uh, Category 1 Hilton is located there. Excuse me, Category 1 Hyatt is located there. It's a Hyatt place, and it's really close to an Amtrak depot. So uh, after my first night, I got on the train, rode south to Springfield, Illinois, uh, one major stop further south, just a touch over an hour, got off the train, uh, did a tour of the town. It's the hometown of Abe Lincoln, so I was able to see the... Lincoln home that he raised his family in. I was able to see the train depot where he left to become president back in the 1860s. I was able to see the original state capitol building where he did a lot of his state legislator stuff and then the presidential museum as well. At some point in the future, I'll make an unlisted video for those of you who are really history travel nerds like me. I don't have it right now, but in time you can check out the description box and there should be a link down there. So two nights in that Hyatt there in Normal, Illinois. Of course, at the end of my day in Springfield, I rode the train back to Hyatt uh, up in Normal, Illinois, because there is no Hyatt in Springfield itself. But that was really fun just to ride Amtrak a little bit, get the feel of getting off the train and doing everything within walking distance. It's kind of right there in the middle of town. Before I dive into the details of exactly how I redeem points, I want to let you know that on this channel we talk about finding epic value including but not limited to credit card rewards for the average american does that sound interesting to you if it does please subscribe to this channel and please click the thumbs up button i talk about 80 percent credit card and credit card rewards and about 20 percent other stuff like finding value and occasional travel stuff i hope you'll join me in this journey on my youtube channel but for now let's dive in so the Hampton Inn by Hilton in Clinton, Iowa, was $178 per night normally, but I was able to redeem 20,000 Hilton points for that. I have the Hilton business credit card, and I'll put a pinned comment down below if you're interested in that with a referral link. That would help me out if you would be kind enough to use that if you're interested. Uh, from that sign-up bonus and using it various other times, I've accumulated lots of points, I think over 150,000. Anyhow, 20,000 of those were used to redeem the Hilton, which is normally 178 per night on the night that I stayed. And that comes out to 0.89 cents per point. Uh, most places value Hilton points at a reasonable redemption of around half a cent per point. So getting 0.89 or nearly nine tenths of a cent per point instead of half a cent per point is quite a win. And then as it relates to the Hyatt Place, I stayed two nights, and that was $180 per night if I had paid the cash rate, and that's the member price. This was a Category 1 Hyatt, which was astonishing. It's a fabulous hotel. You should check it out. Uh, 5,000 points per night. That was it. That's their standard price. It's not peak. It's not off-peak, just standard. So that comes out to 3.6 cents per point. If you follow along with Hyatt points, you'll know anything over... Two cents per point is really good. And I transferred from my Sapphire Preferred, uh, which is a Chase credit card, over to Hyatt, one for one, 
to get there. And I'll put a link in that pinned comment also for my Sapphire Preferred, if that's a card you're interested in. And then Amtrak. Uh, it was an inexpensive train ticket, only $36. And I was able to offset that completely by using 2,400 flex points with my U.S. Bank Altitude Reserve card. Altitude Reserve has a feature called Real-Time Rewards, where they will send you a text message when you make certain travel purchases subject to certain minimums, and you just respond the word redeem, and it uses those points to offset your travel purchase at 1.5 cents per point. Uh, the Altitude Reserve is a great card for Amtrak travel because you double dip. Uh, you get points earned at three cents per point on the travel and you can use that same currency to offset it hey i did a video recently on double dipper credit cards i'll put a link up there if you haven't seen it yet let me know what you think are these good redemptions it's not going to make the evening news but i thought they were pretty good redemptions put a comment down below and let me know how you think i did and as always may your spending be frugal and may your points be plenteous. Thanks for watching.